For now, we'll look at the, the mean. And the median of group the data. So the main and median of the group data. This one needs calculators, so you need to have calculators. Now I have one here. So you say, we've got to into an example. Find the, the mean. And the median with the following data. Data is in the table. So we have scores and frequency. Frequency, I'll just put F there. And then we have 45 to 54. Uh, 55 to 64, 65 to 74, and then 75 to 84. And then 85 to 94. Then we also have okay, just here can end. And then the frequency uh, two here, four, three, five, eight. So that's the frequency. So I asked to find the mean and the median of the following data, of this data on the table. Solution. To find the mean, you form the frequency distribution table and it just has to be detailed. So we'll have class interval one, and then the frequency itself, or oh, here you can put the midpoint, the mid interval value. Now we call it the mid class value, mid class value, and then Frequency, after frequency, we find the cumulative frequency. And then we have a line that we call Fx. And then Fx squared. So here, let me update my question. I'll say the mean I'll update my topic now. Say the mean standard deviation and median of group data.
So fx squared is what we need to find now. So form a table with these things found. So how many do we have in the frequency, the intervals? We have from 45 to 54. We also have from 55 to 64. We also have from 65 to 74. And we have from 75 to 84. And then we have from 85 to 94. And then we get this value, get these values, get these values, get these values. Then for a frequency, we'll get its sum. And then we'll also get the sum of fx. Then we'll also get the sum of fx squared. So the midpoint, we could get the midpoint now from 445 to 54. You add 54 plus 45 and then divide by 2. So you'll be doing that to every interval. So 54 plus 45 divided by 2, we get 49.5. And then we go to 55 plus 64 divided by 2, you get 59.5. So we'll have 69.5, we'll have 79.5, and we'll have 89.5. These are medial class interval. And the frequency is given in the, in the table. That's 2, 4, three, five, eight. Then the cumulative frequency. In the first one, two maintains. In the second one, you add this two plus four, you get six. Then you add six plus three, you get nine. Then you add nine plus five, you get 14. Then you add 14 plus eight, you get 22. Okay. Am I right? Yeah. I confirm. Two plus four plus three plus five plus eight. Yeah, 22. Well, that's accumulative frequency. And then you get Fx. Which one do we call fx? This middle class value here is like the x. So you'll be multiplying now this number times the frequency. So you say 49.5, 49.5 times two, the frequency, we get 99. And then 59.5 times 4, the frequency, 59.5 times 4, we get 2.8. And then 69.5 uh, times 3, we get 2. Two zero eight point five. Yes, and then seventy nine point five by five. You get three ninety seven point five. 
then h times 22 oh that is 89.5 times 8 you get 716 and then we add all this to get this sum which is down here in fact we'll start the addition on the mean first so you add all the mean you we'll get 22 here Then we add also the fx to get the sum fx. We add, so we have 99 plus 278 plus 397.5 plus 716. We get 1471. And then fx squared, we are multiplying the same frequency by squaring these now, the multiplex values. That's the one we call fx squared. Okay, so just a bit. Uh, Okay, so so what we are squaring is the x squared, right? Your fx is the let's see. And your fx is what? Is one six five nine. One six five nine. Okay. So where did I go? Ninety nine plus two thirty eight plus two zero eight point five plus three nine seven point five plus seven sixteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I've got a different device. <laughs> Again, ninety nine plus two thirty eight. Plus two zero eight point five plus three ninety seven point five plus seven sixteen. <laughs> then I've got in what you have got in us one six five nine after doing it three times. I think my calculator is not adding some numbers. Then we get another. Okay. I have another one now. So now we do fx squared. So this frequency here comes the square of this guy. So we'll start with 9.5 squared. <laughs> I hope so. For 9.5 squared, 
by two, we get uh, 4900.5. Again, 59, I can just confirm that value, 49.5 squared multiplied by two. Okay, that's correct. Then 59.5 squared multiplied by four. This is giving me one four one six one. Okay, then sixty nine point five squared by by three. We get one four four nine zero point seven five. Then seventy nine point five squared multiplied by five. We get three one six zero one point two five. And then eighty nine point five squared multiplied by eight, we get sixty four zero eight two. Then now the sum you can sum them forty nine zero zero point five plus one four one six one plus one four. 490.75 plus that one 601.25 plus 64.082. I'm getting 129.5. Two, three, five. Point five. Point five. Mm. <laughs> no, it's not to spare those. What one to find? Okay, don't worry, we'll get to know it very well. Okay, so let's get our mean. Our mean is not difficult to get. <coughs> our mean denoted as x bar is the sum of all x over n. So the sum of all x is uh, this one we got here. The sum of fx. The difference is that. So one six. So I can write this to avoid the confusion. We write it as fx over n. Now we got that sum. We want six five nine divided by n. N is twenty two. So the, okay, the formula I'm, I'm using, I haven't we haven't used it in that way. 
So let's put the formula this way. So the sum of f x over the sum of f. So we got one six five nine over twenty two. That's how we get them in here. We're just saying that you add all the all the um, entries, except that the addition we're supposed to be adding value by value. Now they're in intervals. So we just pick the mid one and then multiply it by the mean and by the frequency of them to get this number which we are adding now, representing them. So 1659 divided by 22. This is giving us 75.409091, which you can write as 75. Point four zero nine. So that's the mean. So this is the mean. Next, the standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the sum of fx squared over n minus mean squared. So we have already gotten the f, the sum here, this number down. It's uh, one, two, nine, one, two, nine. It's two, three, five. Two, three, five. Okay, two, three, five point five over n is twenty two minus x plus squared, that is the, the mean, which is seventy five point four zero nine squared. So here we are getting. Let's do the division. So we have one, two, nine, two, three, five point five divided by twenty two. Um, the number we get minus seventy five point four zero nine squared. The value we get, we get the square root. That's just punching the, um, in the calculator now. The square of the answer is 13.704876607, which can be written as 13.704876607. That's a standard deviation. How do you get? Uh, or how do you get f x squared? This is frequency multiplied by the midpoint squared. So frequency we get two. For example, for the first one, we are multiplying two by forty nine point five squared. That's the one that you multiply. <clears throat> I'm very right now. That's how you're getting the, the fx squared. So you square you will square this. Wonderful. Then the next question says find the median. The median the median is found by the formula L plus N over two minus cumulative frequency. Uh, 
over f the frequency plus height so what does that mean you go to the number for you to get the so you first get the middle interval so we come to our data here look at the cumulative frequency so we know we have 22 then you are saying 22 divided by 2 we get 11. so we are going to find the 11th frequency number so this is 2 6 9 14. so it means that the 11th is found in this in this set of frequencies because the frequency is the listing of numbers so now we are saying where do we find uh, the middle number the median in which group does it fall so it falls in 22 divided by 2 group 22 divided by 2 i'm going to show uh, So I'm saying the middle class, the middle class is obtained by n over two. Now that n over two, you 11 over two, I mean 22 over two, we get 11. This 11, we go and look for where we find 11, which, which interval do we find 11? Is the interval with frequency five. So this means that we have known now our F is five in that frequency. And then our L, the lower limit, <laughs> the lowest value in that interval. So this value here, this interval is 75 to 84. So the lowest value in this interval is 75. So you pick 75. And then height, you are calculating uh, the same interval, 84 minus 75, 84 minus 75, that's the height. So you say 84 minus 75 is equal to nine. That is the height. What else? Cumulative frequency, you got your interval. The interval is here, this interval line. And you're dealing with. So you don't get the frequency of the added in the interval. You get it before the interval before you get the cumulative frequency of the interval before the interval that you're dealing with. So we'll get nine and not 14. So we'll get nine. What else is missing? I have everything. So the median can be found now. L is 75 plus any is 22 over two minus cumulative frequency is nine over frequency. Frequency is five plus height, height is nine. This is making it 75 plus 11 minus nine over five plus nine, which is, um, First, we do with 11 minus 9, we get 2. 2 divided by 5, we get 0 0.4. So we have 75 plus 0 0.4 plus 9 is equal to 75 plus 0 0.4 plus 9 is equal to 84.4. So that's the median. So the median class, the median class depends on this formula here. This is what you should know. I don't know which way, but it must be known. So the lower limit of the interval, how do you find the interval to deal with? You get your n and divide it by two. The number you get, 11. You go and count your terms in which your frequency up to 11. 
So we count two plus four, that's eight, eight plus three. I mean, two plus four, that's six, six plus three, that's nine, nine plus five will be beyond 11, we've got 14. So within this five, we have the 11, uh, 10, the 11th entry in the data. So now that entry is the one that we're getting this interval for. So this interval here becomes the interval of our interest. So we get the L of the same interval. So L is 75. And then the height comes from the same interval, 84 minus 75, we get nine. And then the same interval, the C, the cumulative frequency, you don't get for the interval where you are, you get for the interval that is before the interval of your interest. On the CF, which is nine. And then what else? F, F now you get the frequency of the interval you're dealing with, which is five. N, we have N as 22, the total frequency. Then now you check this in, your, in, the, in the formula. L plus N over two over that. You don't sweat. You just do, um, if you solve about three, four questions, then you're okay. So there isn't another formula. Mm -mm. Where did it come from? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this thing will be cutting soon, but we're not rejoining. Uh, this thing works with exercising. So since the class is supposed to go up to 21 hours, according to our timetable. This is just 2010. So you go to the tutorial sheet. The tutorial sheet for statistics. Those are not numbered, I think. You must have the tutorial sheets and do Answer question. Answer question. Answer question six. A. By twenty one hours, it must be done. So I'll send the in case you want the reference of the PDF. I'll, I'll send it quickly in the group so that you you can follow. We're just few here. We are <laughs> we are now two. Only an and banana. So let's let's do the work and post the solution in the group. So don't 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 even run I. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh -huh. so, how did you find the the nine? The nine is the cumulative frequency of the interval before where before the interval that you are dealing with, before the middle interval. So you don't get the CF of the interval you are dealing with, but you get the CF of the interval before it. So can I wait for the solution? Yes, I'm waiting. All right. I'm waiting. Let me just post this the PDF so that you can use for reference. 